It's not a secret that editing videos takes a lot of time. A good video editor will maximize that time and a great way to do that is by learning shortcuts. We're starting strong with the first shortcut, which is the JKL shortcut. Yes, those are three shortcuts, but we're just going to run with it. The JKL shortcuts are great to navigate through your timeline at various speeds. The J is to go backwards, the K is to pause, and the L is to play forward. Now, if you press the J once, it will go backwards at regular speed, and if you press it again, it will go a little bit faster, and again, it will go even a little bit faster. The same goes for L, but forward, and instead of the K, you could also use the space bar because there's honestly not much of a difference between the two. So I'll leave that one up to you. The next shortcut is going to be eliminating quite a few steps. Normally you delete a clip and then you would have to close a gap. But instead, what we're going to do is we're going to be ripple deleting this. And in order to ripple delete a clip, hit shift and delete on your keyboard. The next shortcut is again, not one, but two shortcuts because this video is just filled with bonuses. And honestly, these two shortcuts, they go really well together. Let's assume that you have this one clip and you wanna create a cut right here and delete everything that is behind that playhead. What you can do is you can create a cut, ripple delete it, but there is actually a faster way. We're just going to press Q and look at what it does. It does the exact same thing with one press of a button instead of a click and then shift delete. Now, if you want to do the same, but for everything that is in front of the playhead of that selected clip, then press W. If you want to add a default transition to any of your clips or your audio, then simply press Ctrl D or Command D if you're on a Mac. Now, by default, this transition is a cross dissolve. And let's say you want the transition to rather be a dip to black because that's the one that you use all the time. Then go to video transitions, right click on dip to black and then click on set selected as default transition. Finally, you really want to optimize your workflow, which includes your keyboard so it works for you. The default editing keyboard is great, but if, for example, you prefer to only use your left hand for shortcuts and your right hand for a mouse, which is what I do, then it's a really good idea to remap the shortcuts that you use all the time to the left side of your keyboard. If you're on Windows, you go to Edit, and if you're on the Mac, you go to Premiere Pro, Keyboard Shortcuts, and here you can remap your keyboard. Now, when you're done with this, make sure that you save the template right here. Now that you're a faster editor than you were before you started watching this video, it is time for Premiere Pro to be just as fast. So watch this video right here for five tips on how to make Premiere Pro faster on any computer. And of course, make sure that you subscribe to the channel.